All right, lads, I'm Dara Curran, a.k.a. The Guinness Guru, and this is Only Cans, the show that's all about drinking. From mad stories to fucked up traditions, I chat to different people from all walks of life about their own personal drinking career so far. Welcome to episode 13. A dose of only cans, that's your only man. So sit back, relax, that's the only plan. Grab yourself a Guinness or Peroni, man. Welcome to the show, this is Only Cans. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> so this week on the podcast, a very good friend of the whole Guinness Guru community, Mango, Dublin-based rapper. A lot of lads, if you've been following the Guinness Guru since day one, you'll be familiar with Mango. Uh, he was the first guest reviewer I ever had back in, I'm going to say, November 2019. And he was actually the first person who ever made me aware of the surger. So go back, type in Guinness Guru, Mango, Mulligans, or something like that. Watch it on YouTube. He goes, do you know about that surger thing? They have them in hotels in the UK. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Told me all about it. How many months later? fucking nearly two years later and here he is on the podcast and we're talking about surgers what are you mad isn't it mad isn't it yeah mad isn't it then of course the extra cans with mango will be up on the patreon this friday just like the extra cans with eric roberts mr abitha rep is up on the patreon now patreon.com slash the guinness guru head on over five quid a month extra cans podcast 15% off merch. We've got hoodies. We've got t-shirts. Definitely in the next few months, there's going to be some nice, cool, summery t-shirts. We'll have you all kitted out for going back to the pubs, beer gardens galore. It's going to be great. We might get an L cap in there as well. So keep an eye on gurumerch.com. If you join the Patreon, you get 15% off onto the podcast. It is what it is. I'm just going to, I'm just going to just tug it out, man. Do you know what I mean? It is what it is. Keep the cliches. Keep the cliches coming. Pretty much, yeah. Wash your hands. All it is that, what it is, man. Mask, you know, it's mad. Like, I know. Fucking unprecedented times. Right. Shut up on the <laughs> fucking gone. Yeah, man. Super. Right. I'm going to give you a Whopper intro, and then we'll go. So you can chill for a minute. All right. Let's get it. I now welcome on to Only Cans, one of the finest musical talents to come out of Dublin since his fellow redhead, Lou Kelly. His latest album, Casual Work, received top class reviews. He has the voice of a Nat King Cole and Ronnie Drew love child. And he will always be etched in Guinness Guru history as my first ever guest reviewer. He is the beating heart of the dynamic duo we know as Mango and Matman. And he has more pairs of Air Maxes than he has boxers. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, my good pal, Mango. Na, 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 na. What's happening? What's up? Do, 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 do. Yeah, I should have brought the soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> the knack and cold, that's a new one. I haven't got knack and cold before. <laughs> we haven't been on only cans before. I get the Ronnie right. Drew. That's that's really true. That's really true. Ronnie and you're Drew. right about the boxers thing, which, <laughs> which I need to probably sort out. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that you have loads of Air Max. It's just that you only actually have two pairs of boxers. <laughs> oh, like, you know what I mean? I, I'm just constantly in the washing machine. Like, do we put darks on? <laughs> yeah i can never get that wait hold on is it that, but if the, the box is that act doesn't matter but anyway to fuck um yeah i sent you obviously over a list of stuff so it's easier you have a bit of prep because some of the questions you actually need to think but before we get yeah. into that mango i don't know if you know what i'm going to say first what would if i was going to bring something up that happened between me and you in the last and very to do with this podcast that happened in the last six months does that come to mind me and you six months <laughs> to do with this podcast you probably just totally forget six months i feel like a prick now <laughs> bro my head's a fucking sieve i don't know what you're on no so, what? what go on no i'd say there's about two people on the planet who know this but the only cans team song i originally Ass mango. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was like, nah, nah you got to do that with yeah. yourself, man. <laughs> Turns out to be the the best decision. But, yeah, yeah very few us. very few people will know that I, I messaged mango. And it's like, it was such yeah. a bad idea when I, in, 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 not a bad idea that you wouldn't have been good, but like, no, it would have just no. been so random, randomly to have mango for like two lines. And then it's mine. So I basically, it's, the exchange went like, 
starting a podcast, want to get you on it. Um, and I have a song. <laughs> mm. And I'd love for you to kind of like I had it all, which is even the worst part. Like I had it all written and all. And I was literally like, mm. I'd love to like use your voice, blah, blah, blah. And you straight away within like a second were like, yeah. That's that's not for ah. me. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do that so much these days. I, I'd I like, say I so. Really uncomfortable. I hate doing it because I always like helping pals out. But there's like this, there's, there's some things, especially with that. Like you know, I come on this podcast. So I, I came in to, onto the when you were doing the YouTube thing earlier. Yeah, I, of course. I, I took in, no problem. But like, there's so much stuff you like. People are like, "Oh, that'd be a good idea," and then you have to go, "No." <laughs> And, and then, then you're like, I'm only a prick for saying this now, but like, you know, like, you're like, no, it's it's a bad idea. Like, and yeah, hey, but look, it sounds Rich, better with you. And you're like, rapping now. Do you know what I mean? You're coming from your job. I'm fucking rapping now. One one episode in, I was like, oh my God, imagine if, not that you even, it wasn't like, imagine if Mango agreed. I was like, what was I thinking? Asking him. It just wouldn't have made any imagine, sense. Imagine, imagine I did it. Imagine I did it. I know I did a worse job than you. Do you know what I mean? Very that true. Can happen, bro. And then we put the two of them side by side. But yeah, I had to bring that yeah. up just to throw you in a bit of deep water. But fucking <laughs> funny stuff. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Mango Dasso, do uh what was what the fuck am I going? What was your drink of choice when you started drinking? It's always been Guinness. Day one. Well, like I mean, like when I started, like you know, you just when was day one? You can. Day one, oh, it must have been, I can't even remember, man. Like, it must have been like 14, 15, like when I first beer. Like, you know, you have your confirmation, like your uncles give you like a, a yeah. sip and a drink. Or, you know what I mean? Your mom be like, here, taste that wine, blah, blah, whatever. Or, like, but 14, 15 was when I was like getting like some fucking lad to get me cans out of an awful. And I think, yeah. oh, I don't know what I got. I think I was just like, here, get us cans cheap from your man. I think your man came out with like cans of Miller. And I was like, sound of cans buzzing. of Miller. <laughs> I, was, I don't think I've yeah. ever seen a fucking can of Miller. They're they're black and gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I was like, I was buzzing. I was like, yes, mate. Yes. I, was like, I think I got like an eight, eight or six pack and I drank them <clears throat> and uh, got sick all over the shop. And uh, my man, yeah. come fucking let me because the lads just left me hanging over the wall. And I woke up the next morning. I was like, I'm never drinking again. And my folks were like, ah, yeah, yeah all right. And I think about a fucking three weeks later, I was back to it. It was it's all probably... sorts like, you know, Devil's Bay. Oh, boy. Yeah, uh, fucking, yeah, a Linden Village. Oh, plastic, boy. You know what I mean? Dutch. Uh, remember, remember the uh, remember the awful uh, O'Brien's used to do, Hollandia. Do you remember Hollandia? Yeah, I remember Hollandia. So yeah. you were all a can. Yeah, yeah, like during the recession, man, that that kept us going. There was a euro a can, or they did bottles of bud for you, but like you wanted the cans of Hollandia. Yeah, then it was Turbo G, Bavaria, but then you start going to Bilzers and like you know, be like, do you have Bavaria or Tuborg on top? Like you just get a point to playing, like, and that was been yeah. me since then. And then yeah. like my shorts that I drink afterwards, that's kind of always that's gone through different phases throughout different years, you know. Um, but come here, where did you? I, I never, I always get confused with you because like. You've got affiliations with Ashburn and Fingless and Town and all. Mm. Where, where, like when you were 14, 15, where were you based? Uh, I would have been in between between Dublin and and Rathout. I know, like, it's all Ashburn, Ashburn, but I actually lived in Rathout, which, like, oh. all the lads from Rathout, all the lads from Rathout hated me because they never hung <laughs> around there. I've, like, my parents yeah. still would live, still would live there. And uh, I actually, I don't know a single human apart from my own flesh. Jeez, I never knew that now. You were a tote scum. And like, no offense and like, to the lads from uh, the I, know. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to have to, I used to have to walk down, you know, that bridge down in Rathout, down the little, uh, yeah, yeah, down by a little river. I'd have to walk down that on Friday night to get the bus up to Ashbourne to hang around with the lads. Yeah. And uh, there'd always be like a lot of boys like giving me fucking eyeballs and all, like knowing <laughs> who I was and all that stuff. And I was like, fuck, I'm just like, and I was pure like, we just fuck off, lads. This That's is the suburbs. Like, he's like acting tough. And, but yeah, it was pure like, who's your man and all this. So I, I only hung around in Ashbourne. Like, I wouldn't know a soul in Rat at all. Yeah. But, I remember going to uh, like when we were younger, especially like, I, I thought it was only like a guy thing, but obviously it was just more than that. When we were younger, you'd go over to Ratout, say when the lads live there, and you go over and you'd have a few cans, mm. like, and mm. geez, you get some looks. Like, it was literally like Springfield, Shelbyville. Like, it, it just, <laughs> it's, the, it's the only way to compare it. Was it was a bit more, more say, but I think everywhere has that. Like, there's always like little neighborhood beefs and stuff like yeah. that. And like, it was great. Crack, it was really weird because we were like the first generation of like, 
young fellas that moved out there and uh, like before then it was a small country town and so then we all moved out there and it was like this mix mash of like a lot of dub kids like mostly being less in town that yeah. moved out there but they were all like trying to like vie for like all right who's the top boy who's the toughest who, who is the maddest <laughs> area so everybody started going out and trying to make a name for themselves i remember before i went to to, to school in ashbourne like all the lads like sean ogan were telling me like there was a big like anchorman style rumble in fucking ashbourne <laughs> when they're all like 14 15 like lads drove down with, like uh, lead pipes and golf clubs and there was fucking murder okay, that's why like yeah. when i was going to ashbourne yeah it was it got it got hairy like lads were getting the <laughs> kicked off them so i was staying out of that and then as soon as i could I was like, peace, I'm going back to Dublin. <laughs> See yeah, us later. Fair enough. Cost way um, too much in this bus. <laughs> yeah. But you said then uh, about drinking cans, and then as soon as you called, you got into a boozer for the pint of G. Do you remember your first pint yeah. of G? Yes, I do. I was I drank it with my gramps. Uh, I might Class. have been about 17. I might have been about 17, <laughs> 16. And... Uh, we'd all drink on a Sunday and like looking back at it now, it's really nice. It's kind of a bit like, I don't know, like people, have, it, it wouldn't go anymore, but like on Sundays we drive down to my grand's and Ram's gaff and then the men would go for the points and the women would stay in the house and chat around <laughs> and have tea or they might have a drink or whatever. Yeah. But especially, especially when the drink, dri- dr- and the, like, not drink driving, like the drinking limit for driving kept going up. It was more like, right, well, somebody has to stay here to drive us home because my dad was going for a point with his dad and yeah. I'd always go up and uh, then eventually it was like you know what I mean I didn't feel like a Lucas I had that day and I was like oh my <laughs> goodness my dad was like yeah, come on and I had it and it was fu- oh mate <clears throat> I had a big I had a uh, Manhattan crisps and I drank out of the point and I was like I was like what you think I was like yeah lovely lovely in my face was like you know what I mean you get that um, force as in you, you know didn't I mean? like it and I, I, no, I, no, it wasn't that. You know, you have to just acquire the taste for so No, because I thought, Mango, you were going to try to come on here and be like, oh, I was 16 and I had it and I loved it. I was like, bullshit. No, no. There's no one in no. the world who enjoyed the first pint of no, Guinness. Buddy. No, it's like, a, it's like your first cup of coffee where you're like, oh, yeah, yeah this is great. Or like your first cigarette and you're like, oh, this is great. And you're like, this is for, why do people, why are people mad for this? And then yeah. you have the Guinness. And I had, I had a big pack of crisps beside me. And so what I do was, I take a big gulp of Guinness and then I just stuff a lot of crisps in me. It's <laughs> just the way it's fucking right. But yeah, so I had I had that, and then yeah, now looking back, like now I just like I wouldn't even consider getting anything else. Do you know what I mean? Even in I the summertime or anything. like beer garden, you just I don't give a fuck Guinness. Nah, oh, man, Guinness all day. Now, like I'll, I'll drink a lot of I'll drink a lot of uh, boomers. I like boomers and. Uh, I like cider and I'm getting more into it just with you know fucking a lot of gluten it's not really gelling with me that much anymore so I have to take it easy on the Guinness like yeah can't be, well I don't know maybe I'm just getting older I just can't fucking tuck away 10 or 11 points a night and fucking not wake up the next morning and rag out of my stomach we'll have to so, get the Guinness uh, yeah. gluten free going <laughs> yeah man they need to sort that out they got Guinness gluten free I'd I wouldn't have a penny to me name do you know what I mean <laughs> I know. that's all to be doing uh, so yeah it's always been g always been g <clears throat> what about you it's always been g for you or be you like a heineken or a rock show boy or something yeah you've a mad heineken head in you now don't i, I look at the background there and you're feeling no one pal. <laughs> <laughs> give me as much guinness stuff as you fucking have because i need to look like a <laughs> um a, Carl, I, a carlsberg man yeah no i can't lie like i only started drinking guinness properly when i was probably like 22 23 and okay. that's why the, the name, the word guru comes into question quite a lot. And probably, mm-hmm. probably fairly, it was just the best thing that went after Guinness, Guinness guru for what we were yeah, doing. Yeah, alliteration. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. You know all yeah, about yeah, that, yeah. Mango. Um, absolutely. I know we're putting but, together, yeah. But yeah, it was kind of... What were we on was, before that? I, I don't want to say. Go on, go on. <laughs> starts, go with, on Blue Wicker. <laughs> starts with C <laughs> and rhymes with whore's shite. No, go away. The Jean Claude Van Damme special, man. Oh, the cures when I was drinking. Light. Oh, look, it's got when the mountain goes blue, it's nice and cold. Oh. Oh, yeah, fucking... <laughs> that, that was me. <laughs> oh, it's fucking perfect, lads. The mountain yeah, tells fucking... you when it's cold. Yeah, it's <laughs> fucking water. Oh, look, cans of cans of both. Cans of both you can't be. I'll give it that. It's sugar water, but like it's 
go get fuck it like cans of wood no I, I'm scared from cans of wood because I was saying the pod like two weeks ago my first ever session was after the junior start warm cans of wood 330 mil absolute fucking oh, horrific do it yeah. do it where'd you go to the rugby club did you the where oh the way yeah <laughs> <laughs> oy, oy, oy. yeah <laughs> haven't heard that in a while <laughs> i know a lot, of, a lot of a lot of nefarious activities illegal carry on going down there sure a lot of drugs smoked that was what it was all about but switching it up mango uh you of course are a rapper and if being a rapper you do rap shows do you drink before these rap shows, <laughs> rap shows. i did uh, these ra- these ra- these, these rap, rap shows concerts yeah these rap concerts uh <laughs> i used to uh but anybody see the thing is it's not well, like not as much as days. i used to and of course uh, yeah <laughs> sorry i have to say <laughs> no, I, love, I love him man he's he's a fucking double g not as much as uh, i used you, to go on i are you no but i used to drink and i'd like i'd be like yeah grand blah 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 but Anybody who raps will tell you, like, it's not like you're out just playing an instrument or anything like that. Like, there's a lot of words to remember, mm. a lot of lyrics to remember, and you're full of getting it. And it can happen. You're in the green room, it's just free gargle all over the place. You yeah. up, and everybody will remember the time they got too drunk or they got too stoned or whatever, whatever. And they went up on stage and everybody was like, Yeah, go get it. And they went, uh, And you lose everything and your performance is sloppy. Have you, you ever had it? You do, you're like, Have you ever had it where you just like, there was a good 10 seconds where you're just blank or do you always kind of oh, just years. improvise like, many of them many of them yeah what i used to do right <laughs> what i used to do i'm gonna wrap myself out now i'll tell you right uh i used to have a like i used to blame it on the mic wires, pull the mic a tiny bit so closer you pushed it away there there you go Sorry, man. Good man there we are hold on there we go now we're talking so what happened was what happened was I used to um I used to like pretend the mic didn't work, the wireless mic. So I'd be rapping away, da 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 da. And then I just go <laughs> and then I look at the sound lag on. Oh my and god. And then I go, but I remember it's genius, man. It's genius. I do you know what you do as well. If you had a fan in the crowd, right? And they were like doing the words, or whatever, you go, and you're like, fuck. You just hand him the mic and they're chuffed. They're going, bah, 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 and you're like fucking tiny. So some random cunt in the crowd knows the lyrics and you don't. That is that's gas <laughs> yeah, it's it's amazing but yeah no i used to the sound man to be just be looking at me like what bro and i'd be like oh the mic can... yeah so but yeah it's happened to me a lot of times where i've just like there's been times recently that I, like i'll do the second verse instead of the first verse but there's like little ad libs built into the track so like oh shit yeah on. so like i'm rapping and then like just my own voice is saying like a different word at the same time and then, like and you just have to <laughs> go through it you just have to finish it and yeah it's just, uh, I'd say there's there's sound engineers all across the country thinking those bastards. It wasn't they, me all along. No, <laughs> they, yeah. no, but really nice to say, oh, man. Like, you know what I mean? And plus, most of them love us because we show up and they're like, all right, what do you need for the show? It's not like guitars and drums and all. They're just like, uh, we're just like, I have a USB, give me decks and a mic. And they're like, oh, thank fuck God. So, yeah. yeah it's, it's handy. <laughs> but then, so the show is done. You've forgotten half your lyrics. You're fucking half pissed then after the show yeah. i'll drink on stage i'll drink on stage but pre-show but i can imagine no, um because guinness would, you might have one yeah but like i would even even when i do the podcast and i'm like i'm drinking guinness it i do find like it it can kind of like nearly get stuck in your throat a bit or something a bit or something it's a bit yeah. like it's, it's heavy yeah. and do you know what i mean so i can imagine it sits in your belly yeah, and, our, and, you're, and, you, and, and you're, your shows, and you're jumping around. your shows are literally yeah. mental. You have to fucking top off, and you're absolutely bouncing around yeah. the place. Guinness, I wouldn't be drinking fucking eight pints of Guinness before that now. I wouldn't be eight. No, I might have one and like yeah. a gemmy or a or a, or a henny or something. Yeah, I was gonna like say that. a whiskey. I, I, be nice. Get you going. Yeah, get a little little turbo buzz. But uh, no, it's been times I've gone on, and like the thing is, like I do tunes where I mention Guinness. Like uh, when I do rap it, and I you know have the car the car. Yeah. Like I'm ground with a pint of black in, in my hand, a mic <clears> and a pint of black in my hand, and like somebody sometimes I hand me a pint of Guinness from the the, the crowd or like oh yeah, stage right there. So I'm just trying to I'm trying to like rap this like really fast and pump and tune while also holding the pint of plant, trying to yeah. not spill it everywhere and down it. But yeah, it just sits in your stomach and you're just like, but, yeah, fuck that. Uh, after after the show, you know, 
we get busy. You know. You know the vibes. That's all you can say. Listen, we have a, we have a very generous rider, and it's it's utilized to the max. Rider, that's a because I if I was listening to this podcast and I wasn't didn't have all the cool rap show knowledge that I have. I would have thought you. <laughs> I would have thought you said writer, like someone who writes. But you said writer. Yeah. A lot of people won't know what a writer is. A writer is basically yeah. you. You explain what a writer is. Uh, basically, it's like uh, when artists put it down. I don't know whoever came up with them, but like, yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> so basically, it's like when you're playing the shows, you don't just go into a green room, sit there, and get nothing. Like you might be on tour or you might be doing a festival or you might be doing a show where you're there all day and you have to hang around after at night so they say you know you have to you know we want transport or if we're um if we're traveling to it you know it'll be on the right of that like part of the contract you know you have to give us a hotel or somewhere to stay uh, a meal and then like mostly it's like fruit or like snacks or something like that but majority of it is drink it's bar, keg of it's guinness of and a barman um, to pull it <laughs> but yeah you can have like bottles of this and uh bottles of that and kegs of this and then some people get like you know all sorts of stuff on it yeah. as well uh, but basically it's like they when it's like no show without the writer if you walk in and it's not there it's kind of like it's a bad sign yeah it's like um i think it was black sabbath had this thing they put and most people know this thing what they had on their writer was like they wanted a brandy glass full of only brown M&Ms on the table. Now, most people kind of heard, heard that and you thought, are they just being divas or whatever, whatever. But uh, someone years ago told me the real reason for it was that like they'd be going just city, playing show after show, city after city, night after night. And, you know, people had let them down on sound or tech or uh, the stage or the writer or whatever like that. They, like they would know who was deadly or what. So what they did was as soon as they got into the green room, because that's most of the place you do, you check in, and you go into the green room and you, you sit down and then you wait to get called and set up and all that stuff. But they'd walk into the green room and if they seen a brandy glass full of brown M&Ms, they knew everything was right. Because if you went to the trouble of doing something stupid, just to put I get brown you. M&Ms in a brandy glass, everything else be looked after down to the sound man and all that stuff. So riders, yeah, you just like, I mean, I do a show and I get a free bottle of fucking Hennessy or Jemison or a few cans of Guinness and loads of water and uh, it used to be a pack of fags, but I'm, I'm off the fags now. So I might get them to put like vape juice on it. That's awful, isn't it? <laughs> vape juice. You sound like such a, hey, uh, so can I get like a menthol and a, oh, can I get a, wash, a six pack of gluten-free Guinness and uh, some vape juice? <laughs> <laughs> and a yoga mat like <laughs> yeah. fuck man um yeah, but it is what it is but i i know i did an instagram live with you like in the fucking height of the first lockdown and i don't know if i brought it up then but uh anyone who, who's who been following any guinness page in the last three four months it's all about these surgers and yeah I, and who was I, the first person to put you onto the game at that son, fucking huh? point exactly mango if you go back and watch, uh, pause the podcast right now and go to my first, no, not my first, my first guest, but YouTube, uh, Guinness Guru, Mango, Guinness Mango uh, and it's from like November 20, Where did nine, go? Down 2019, Where did Mulligans. Go? Mulligans, that's right. And Mango was like, do you hear this, do you see this surger thing? And I was like, nope, literally have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, but, but they use it in the UK in hotels. I was over there. They put your can on this. It's so funny saying that now. The amount of surgery, mm. shy talk that's been talking the last few months. Mm. Put mm. your can on this yoke. And, and I was like, oh, that's fucking mad. Thought nothing of it for probably a year. And then yeah. probably around November 2020, this fucking thing started yeah. to yeah. come to the surface. And then well, people well, again. Yeah, my mate Sally was texting me going like, have you heard about these sword hat things and all? My mate has a, a, a jewelry cleaner and all. And I was like, I've been fucking, I yeah. feel like the Lula stand on the main road saying the end is nigh and everyone's yeah. just ignoring me. I was like, I've been yeah, telling like, you about this voodoo shit fucking, for years going, it's on the way. Have I heard about it? Fuck it up. You know what I mean? But Mango, there's, oh, man. there's and, evidence. You have got proof that you knew you were the, the prophet. But I just wanted to say that. that 2018, yeah. 2018, 2017, I, I, I was drinking. Yeah. That's fucking gas. And, and it's then, fucking rotten, man. Yeah, there is. I have the jewelry cleaner. 
I, yeah, of I course, don't. I'm not going to fucking buy the branded thing. Like, get the and Aldi job. Wait for the middle oil Aldi job. So you can't fucking even get the the branded ones. You, they're on on eBay for like two hundred fifty quid. The jewelry ma- machine what? is like the jewelry because ma- they don't they don't make them anymore. I don't think. Well, they don't. They're not for wholesale. Like, you're not supposed to be able to buy them. Oh right, they're only for like bills. I was like, they're only for like hotels. Why? Or okay, something like okay, that. Like okay. you can get them on eBay, but the jewelry cleaners you can obviously get, they're like 40 quid. So that's well, what well, if you doing. ring up if you ring up short if anybody wants one, if you ring up Shoreditch Travel Lodge, it's fucking it's collecting dust in the corner at the fucking <laughs> end of the bar. So ring them up and tell you give them 200 pounds or 100 pounds they'll probably fucking sell it to you because it's fucking Brilliant. nobody was drinking. Yeah, it's fucking weird. Is that any use? Uh, it's is a it bit better, of a, is a fucking... lot better. It's a lot better than the can, or what? What's the story? Well, like, like is it worth? You have to get the you have to get the surger cans, which is another pain in the bollocks. They're fucking about three fifty each. Would... Ah, come on. No, you and then pay for the points. You can get the normal can and like release the gas and all, but it's a lot of shite at the end of the day. It makes it a little bit creamier, but it's just. Uh, Do you know what net... it's like? What? Do you know what it's like? It's like self service check checkouts in fucking Tesco or all these fucking things, right? <laughs> where they make you do the work and mm. still pay for it. I'm like, no, mate, I don't work at Tesco. I'm going to go up and you're going to fucking scan the fucking thing and then we'll do that. Like, do you know what I mean? I don't work at Tesco. I go up, I fucking rent the trolley, go around, put all my shit in the thing. I go up to the computer, I scan it, then I pay it and I leave and I bring it back to the trolley. I don't fucking work at Tesco. Fuck you, man. Do you know what I mean? No. It's a good, uh, it's a good analogy. You should write lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I should be paid for <laughs> writing my thoughts. <laughs> yeah. As this episode of Only Cans is, of course, sponsored by my good friends at Manscaped, Sound Skins, the Yanks. Manscaped are the global leaders in men's below the waist grooming. Manscaped offers precision engineered tools for your family jewels and now is available in blah, 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 blah. Most importantly, for my listeners, it's available in the EU. Use the code CANS20 to get 20% off. And on a more serious note this week, lads, Manscaped has partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to spread awareness for men's health and early cancer detection. One man every hour, every day is diagnosed with testicular cancer. So this is a reminder to all of the men to check your balls. Together, the Testicular Cancer Society and Manscaped are committed to raising awareness for the most common form of cancer in men aged 15 to 35 and giving support for fighters, survivors and families impacted by testicular cancer as part of their We Save Balls initiative. While you're down there cleaning up your sack, why not go ahead and give them a little investigation for lumps, changes in size or any pain. Manscaped recommends you check yourself once a month. If you do feel any lumps or swelling, give your doctor a call. In addition to checking yourself regularly, you want to make sure your sack is looking fresh and clean with the Manscaped Perfect Package 3.0. Inside the Perfect Package, you'll find products and liquid formulations that have been developed to turn your bathroom into a salon for your balls. So remember, lads, CANS20 is the code, manscaped.com. 20% off anything on the website you want with free shipping. Sell them again, Manscaped. Good skins, good skins. Check your balls, lads. Right, Mango Dasso. Do you have a favorite drinking holiday? You can maybe first lads trip or any sort of thing, a holiday where there was a few pints had. What comes to mind? Ah, oh, listen, mate. Every 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 holiday I've ever been on has been a fucking <laughs> drinking holiday. <laughs> Everything like I mean, like I don't really go on holidays that much. I never go away. I mean, I went to Ibiza, you know, when I was in my early twenties, and like that's like that's drinking, but like. It's not because then you get to the clubs and like it's like 10 euro for a small bottle of water. So it's like you just fill yourself up with all other shit and then like, you know, yeah. go back to the hotel. And it's like 10 euro for a litre of vodka and you're just fucking abusing your liver that way. So I don't really <laughs> class that as like a drinking holiday. I yeah. suppose it's just every time me and Matt and I go to London, uh, it's just, do you know, we had a mad year after 2017, 2018. And uh, we were like, we made a few bob and we are like, do you know what? fucking holiday we're gonna go for a week to london and we're gonna go fucking get a load of whopper clover and fucking drink ourselves silly and we're gonna go see the, the streets we're on their reunion tour nice my god mate jesus Christ. stocks and guinness must have went up i actually came home i was shook i think it was like do you know what? it was like january so it gone straight from like just before christmas mental periods then all of a sudden the christmas period i think i had like a couple of days off 
I don't even think I think it just kept going out because it was like this hangover is just eventually gonna kill yeah. me. Yeah. So it just kept going. And then I went to London. I just remember like I I'd seen it on like one of your you know on Instagram where it's like on this day and one of your stories. Yeah. It's me on a couch on a couch somewhere than fucking like bricks than I think we we're staying in. And I'm fucking like honestly God, I'm like bleeding shame again. I'm like, <laughs> and I was like that's probably the drunkest show I've ever been, man. And I had to go home. But so that was a great. And we're going around finding good builders in, in London. As and well. would Matt so, Man be as mad yeah. for the Guinness as you? Oh, 100%, man. 100%. He's a, he's a Guinness connoisseur and he wouldn't have anything else now. He, he you know, he'd, he'd move on to the Jemmys. Yeah. Starting to drink them kind of straight. Now he's a little, he's a bit of a fucking IPA. You know, when he comes over, he gets the cans of the IPAs <laughs> and all that shit. Very, well, I'm like, yeah, really, whatever. But, when they're in the bills, it's like we wouldn't even if we're getting around in, he go, Do you want one? I know you say to him, Do you want one? And I know yeah. what he wants. It's, only it's not like what do you want? Point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like, Do you want one? Yeah, cool. And somebody like when we go up to grow ones, we go up to whatever, uh, it's like, Wait, do you want a point? It's like, yeah. So that's it. It's just a point for us. So we're 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 very, very much Guinness drinkers. And who would you say is there because the thing I find when you drink with one lad is that if mm. one lad is a bit more of a lightweight than the other, the night can kind of go a bit arse ways but would you say yeah. you and Matt man is would you do you think you would both say you're more heavyweight than the other or is it a clear winner no I no I think no mm. we're, as, we're as heavyweight as each other but it just depends on the night but there's some nights I've been fucking belubus yeah where I've just been cross I've been like yeah I actually <laughs> man I might just get a point of water for a minute and like because he drinks a bit faster than me and usually I can I can take it okay um I don't know he just takes big bigger gulps I'm just more of a sipper I don't know maybe I'm just fucking talking and smoking too much um but he'll yeah <laughs> because he, he, he doesn't smoke so he's probably just drinking at, like at a normal pace I'm true just, true the bleeding thing. But yeah, like I mean, and there's then there's some nights where I'm like, Jesus, mate, and he's like, yeah. but he's but he's probably on the Jemmy's boy then. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, it, it depends. It depends on the night. Do you know? But I mean? we can both fucking handle our drink. Is all I'd say. It wouldn't be lightweight uh, either of us. That said, though, I haven't drank a lot during lockdown because like drinking for me is a very social thing. I wouldn't just sit in the gaff having six on my own. That's yeah. fucking weird, man. That's, that's yeah. not for me. Like, I wouldn't even watch a football. I'm like, no, because like getting drinking to your gaff and having six in your own and making it a regular thing. Slippery slope, and we all know Irish people that that's happened to and whatever. So I try and on special nights or just a weekend or something like that, I have a few. So I haven't drank that much since lockdown, and that's what I'm afraid of when we get back out. Is that like I won't be match fit? Like all that great mm. work I had <clears> up to this point might be gone. I might have fucking four points and bundled into a taxi and sent off. Like I get you, I get you. But speaking of like See? drinking on your by yourself, and look, this isn't any sort of. This is just my what i always thought to myself that if you I, I don't think i've ever woken up with a hangover from a night that i just drank myself and yeah you I, taste yourself yeah and you as in you probably just drink a few like whatever but i would personally yeah, yeah, yeah. if that was happening on a regular basis like say two three weeks in a row i would personally probably think right now's the time to probably have a sit down with myself have a look at that I'm not yeah, saying if that yeah, absolutely. If, if you're doing that, I don't give a fuck. But that for me was this, always what I said. If I'm waking up regularly, the red flag, and I've I've only been here by myself on the couch, probably not the best. Yeah. But anyway, no. Mango, do you have a hangover cure? Uh, it's, it depends how bad it is. Do you know what I mean? If it's yeah. if it's turbo, like you know, death door. Uh, just fucking stay in the lab. Just keep the water into you. Just stay in bed. Just sleep it off because mm. you know they say it's just time. Um, but like if it's just fucking oh, you know whatever. Like it, it's like Lucas said. Loads of water, shower, maybe a fucking maybe a hand shandy for yourself. Clear the cobwebs. Very important. Get filled. Yeah, just like, you know, cleanse it all out. Do you know what I mean? Wash yourself, sort yourself out, get the fucking the have glucose, you, the glucose. Have you ever been in a position where you were a bit hungover and you had a show the next night and you kind of had to sort yourself out? <laughs> yeah, loads of times. Yeah, it was pretty stupid fucking question. Too many times. Yeah, but what would you do? No, I'm just thinking like, I'm stupid for doing it, you know? Yeah, but like, what would, what would that day look like when you don't have to? I suppose the hangover cure... All well and good when it's a Sunday and you've got the fucking till the Wednesday booked off and all that, like work wise. Yeah. But you wake up, you've got maybe you've got to go into work that night or something. Like, have you any sort of tips and tricks? I'm always trying to find from different people 
of you wake up at 10, you have to be somewhere in decent form at four. What are you doing for those six hours? Just what you said, Lucas, eat, sleep it off. Stay in bed, stay in bed for as long as you can sleep. <clears throat> like when you're, when you're, when you're sleeping, your body's working on yourself a lot better. Um, like if you have to go somewhere that you, you, you don't need to look fucked up, get a shower. Because uh, yeah. you know, nine times some some people just stink a gargle, man. You mm. know what I mean? Have you ever noticed? You'll you know, still stink a gargle after the shower, but it'll only be about yeah. maybe twenty percent of yeah. If you didn't yeah, have a shower, clear the powers. Yeah, but if you don't have a shower, throw the, throw Jesus the Christ. on. Yeah, the pack out of band. You know what I mean? Links Africa, whatever you got to do, but definitely, definitely try and shower anyway. Um, uh, I don't know, like just, just fucking, yeah, Luke said and all that, but it depends because like, I've done shows the next day. The worst thing for me is my voice keeping that because that just goes because I'm a very deep, husky voice. And if I'm wrong, yeah. on stage for an hour and then I'm pulling on fags and then fucking drinking cognac and, and Guinness, you wake up the next morning, you sound like Pat Butcher or the East Ender. So, uh, that's the major one. It's just literally hydration, man, water. It takes like two liters of something. I remember Emma Kerwin told me, because he has the same problem with the, the voice. He was like, it takes like two liters for your body to fully rehydrate. Yeah. So just get one of the, get one of the fucking two liter, little Evian or Volvo things in the shop for a euro. Bang, tell what I'm into you. But he said three of them, if you take three, your body would be fully, fully, 100% rehydrated. And pissing like a racehorse. Yeah. It's way better for you. The electrolytes, everything just starts moving better. We're 72% water. If you're, if you're running low on that, you know what I mean? Your body will show it. Something I've always wanted to ask a someone who does gigs. Have you ever gotten on stage and like a minute later you need a shit? Yeah, actually, that happens quite a lot. <laughs> uh, there's, it's, 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 there's a thing called a PSP that people are like, it's a pre-show poo. Oh, yeah. Pre, so pre what, anything what, poo. What, I'm all about it. But ba- it, it, it's the same for like for, for football players like our players or sports yeah. people or whatever like when you go out especially being on the stage like you know you kick in adrenaline's pumping and one of the, the side effects of adrenaline pumping is like everything out so some people get sick some people are like you need the shit now everything needs to go because it thinks you're under attack so it's like fucking clear yourself out make yourself lawyer for running <laughs> but there's been times there's been times i've been on stage and i'm like oh my god like fucking i see and, and you get off stage and everyone's like oh man that was great and like yeah yeah, yeah. come here give me two <laughs> minutes <laughs> to, to leg it down you're fucking holding the wall to the bleeding jacks going oh jesus thank god and then you go back out but yeah it's kind of hard especially when you're jumping around there's been times like i've got oh, like i remember i did my body and soul one time the stupidest thing i ever did I love pie, man. You know pie, man? When you go to festivals, they just do fucking like gravy and chicken pies and all that stuff. Uh, no, it's but it sounds nice. Pie. Yeah. Banging. Mushy peas. And like, it's great drinking food. Oh, sounds you know quality. I mean? Me. Yeah. Me, pie, mashed potato. And to put mashed potato <clears throat> and pies into it. So I lashed one of them into me. And then I was rapping, right? And I was going out. I was doing this one thing. I was jumping. And the thing eventually, the stuff <laughs> my stomach just went up <laughs> down here. And I caught it in my mouth. Oh and man, I me. Uh, yeah, and I was like, Look, <clears throat> as gross as that is, imagine I was rapping away and just the whole front, <laughs> the whole front rolling straight off me. Yeah, no, it wasn't great. So, that like, you <laughs> have to watch about eating as well beforehand. Yeah, so PSP, go for a piss, have your cigarette, drink a lot of water, go out. So, that's that's the that's the main thing, but make sure you go to Jack's beforehand because you will, if you're if, especially uh, in a big show. I keep that in mind before, uh the only cans Vicker street show. Cause I, I will have to wrap my two lines of the opening song. Will. So I'll keep that in mind. Bro, just even, even being in front of people, especially somewhere like Vicker street, trust me, there's like, that's why besides, besides stages, there's always a bathroom, <laughs> always a toilet. You go, go to a festival, you see the big stage <clears throat> like right behind it is a Jack's. Yeah. Just for that exact reason. Literally be like, uh, how are you lads? Welcome to the show. We're just going to have an intermission. We're just going to have an intermission. <laughs> <laughs> Still have the mic on you know, God bless. Yeah. Oh yeah oh, <laughs> Yeah yeah That happens a lot man That happens quite a lot With those mic packs Brilliant um, Right We're fucking Quickly Walk me through Your first Session When you get back to the pub Where are you going What are you drinking And who are you drinking it with Right well, first session Right I'm gonna wake up uh, Eat your Whopper breakfast like plan for the day, check in on everybody who's coming. I'm inviting everybody I know. Anybody who's like, you know, when you open WhatsApp and you see like the last 10 people that you're texting, like the people you're, you're at, you talk to, they're all gone. 
Uh, I'll wait for the text though. I'm not saying I'm not saying like you can come it's just like I'm texting you specifically to be like right come on so it'll probably it'll have to be town so it'll probably be Grogan's but Grogan's be like a fucking war zone and all. oh man you know, I know they look after me I know they look after me and I'm a good friend in there and all that but it'll be a fu- like Castle Street it'll be fucking like bedlam you and can only look after so much when it's fucking absolutely fucking bedlam like carnage, you said do you know what I mean carnage I'll, I'll be in there and it'll be fucking, it'll be points to beat the band. It'll, Paddy lost, he won't have a fucking patch on me, bro. I'll be <laughs> hanging off the wall. Somebody pushing a whale burger down my neck to keep me going, give me fucking energy, red bulls and all to keep me going. Out to whatever night is going on that night and then everybody back to mine. As I usually fucking stupidly say all the time when I'm outside a nightclub, but like me and T are just like sitting there and everyone's like, ah, and we go, right. I guess we have the gaff in town. Back to it. Fuck's so, sake. That's, you know what? Here's the thing. Somebody has to do it. Because yeah. after the nightclub, everyone's like, somebody has to be like, right, come back to ours. And in fairness, like, we have a sound neighbor on one side and then the gaff beside us. I don't think I used to live there for like three, four years. So when we said, and like, I, the, most of our housemates down here for the weekends were just like, right, let's go. So, but like, you keep it calm. There wouldn't be like, yeah, 100 people in the gaff. But, but no, it uh, sounds like yeah, a fucking serious the, session. After, just ah, po- have to. Like what about all, you? All I want Where is you just. What's your bills are? I would say I'll go up to uh, the Bex. Do you, have you heard of it now? It's oh, out. Don't you say it? It's it's out. Adam Brang brought me up there. It's a mad bu- bilzer. It's, uh, it's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's on the way to fucking Dulik and Slam. Drogheda. Yes. Yeah. 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 No, it's I only. Know, it's only. It like eight or nine ten minutes from ashburn like but middle yeah, of yeah, kind of yeah. yeah out in the middle of nowhere serious pub like that kind of yeah now the lad running it and all that he'd sort you out fucking on, the fire on great and guinness there great guinness and they've done up the back and all so like i just oh, can't wait to go yeah, up there oh, yeah 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 but um, swans be a shout as well <clears throat> swans be a shout yeah but i i haven't really had too much Guinness and Swans, but I just know Bex Guinness is fucking class, and I sit there and drink until I fucking fall asleep, and I be and I don't would really you, care. Would you ever go to Stag's Head? Would you? I've been to the Stag's Head, yeah. Like, like, would like you, everyone. Would you freak with it? No, like everyone in Ashburn. For people, for people listening, we're not talking about Stag's Head in town. We're talking no, about basically Stag's Head in Ashburn no, is probably <laughs> is known as probably oh, let's be honest, a bit of a ruffian spa, but. In the last few years, the Guinness has just become unbelievable there, and I would it's, it, it could fine. arguably be the best pint in Ashburn. In Ashburn, mm. yeah, and it's arguably. all cash and it's cheap. Yeah, yeah it's no, cheap. It's a mad spot. Um, I remember, I remember, me mama came up to fucking drop me up there one time or something like that. I was late for me bus and I missed me bus. She was like, "Right, one, I'll drop you up." She dropped me up, and I think she I left me keys in the, in the car. She was like, oh, fuck it. Parked up and she walked into me and she was like, fucking hell. And my mad, like, she'd been in the towers and the penthouse and much. She was like, this place is like the jockey. I was shameless. Like, fucking <laughs> I love it. I go back every Christmas. Yeah, no, great, uh, great spot, great fucking pints. And they've done it up like fuck. So there's a plug for the stag's head. Uh, yeah, a few man. quick fire mango. Talk to me. Favorite pub? Grogan's. Bacon or scampi? Oh, Jay O'Connell's. In screen. Oh, jeez. No, Hold on. No, no, J- Jay O'Connell's. Jay O'Connell's. Do you ever hear? Oh, May. Have you not Mrs. Been O's. Oh, no, it's up in Port of the Bellow. Oh, May. Oh. I'll drop it down to you. Five or a point. Yes, so no matter. Like, no music, no bills. Like, no music, no. no okay, I'll put it on the list. School, May. I'll put it on the list. It's a great, it's a great for a, hang- a rollover Sunday point. Amazing, bro. Grogan Saturday, Jay O'Connell Sunday. Bacon oh, or scampi fries? I'm going to say bacon because it's going to be blow the breath off you, even though they're delicious. But the bacon, you know what I mean? You can go around. It's going to be fr- fried breath in you. Lovely. Favourite Irish <laughs> favorite Irish rapper? Can't say yourself. Not that you would, but I better put that in there. Favourite Irish rapper? Uh, either Rebel Phoenix or Nilo or Matt Man when he's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey or vodka? Whiskey. Fuck vodka. Jesus. Take the soul. Yeah, it's taking my soul any night, bro. Whiskey all day. <laughs> Beer garden or snug? Uh, Beer garden when it's... No, I don't know. Like, it depends on the... What, what, like, in the Beer garden of, or in snug? Summer. Oh, I don't know. I love, I love going for summer points. 
So beer garden, because you know what, I sit outside where mm-hmm. so technically it's a beer garden and you get to see everybody walking by and people walking up and then they randomly suck people into the session. So beer garden. Favourite Irish film? <sighs> oh, oh, mate, fuck. It might be intermission. It could be the snapper. I have a snapper. I have a Colomini tattoo. You won't, you won't You won't believe me when I say I was actually going to rephrase the question, the snapper or intermission. <laughs> Because you're always watching on your Instagram stories without fail at least once a week. You, you just film. Call it Mandy, t- baby. You film the telly and you're just you laughing at it. And it's either yeah, the snapper yeah, or yeah, intermission yeah. week on, week off. Oh, what's the, do you know what's a, that's a really underrated one? I love it. Mm-hmm. Well. What's that by Kung Fu film that was set up in trim? Your yeah, man, Mikey Graham. Oh my God, it. God I know he's it. Doing, he's doing hill. He's doing hill over after Dunn's club card now. Fatal deviation. Fatal deviation. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm <laughs> just doing kung fu and all with the elf play out and trim. Banger of the film. Absolutely gas. Um, yeah. Finish the mango and Matman lyric, but the neighbors are freaking. Give it over, mate. It's the weekend. Yes, that would have been awkward if you didn't get that. <laughs> that would have been fucking terrible. I didn't really give you much. I just said, but the neighbors are freaking. I didn't freaking, really like. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Um. Last question. Fill in the blank. I am a blank drunk. <laughs> I'm a blank drunk. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> no, uh, am I a drunk? I don't know. Uh, I'm a I'm a happy drunk. Am I? I'm a bu- I'm a buzzy drunk. What are you buzzy. like at? Even if you had like twelve pints of Guinness, would you be a bit sloppy? Uh, or- no, no, I would be like I, and start fucking crying and telling about me fucking childhood and all that stuff. I'm more like, come on, we have a bit more crack. I'm just laughing having jokes that's what you want opportunities. that's what you want yeah I, I, I don't i don't fight anymore or anything like that i'm all like peace man you got a problem i don't give a fuck i'm out of here i'm dancing i'm having a good time so that is going to conclude only cans with my good pal mango um mango you've got the the main thing you've got going on now would you agree smoke breaks and hand breaks every sunday night on the soundcloud every sunday night I mean, describe it in three words for the people uh Bumpers and humpers. Bumpers and humpers. That's the music I play. Bumpers and humpers. It's very it's like mad mix kind of, of um, yeah, it's it's not what you'd expect to come from yourself. Mm. Like if you don't, if you just know, oh, Mango, the rapper from Dublin. Yeah, it's surface it's, level. There's a lot of like 80s and early 90s and it's just some funky shit and it's fucking deadly and it's every yeah. single night on I like, SoundCloud. Get involved. I like that. I like playing weird records. So if you like weird <laughs> records or, or records you haven't heard for a while. Because um, if you follow you on only... Instagram, every time you do a story and you throw a song in it, it's very much those types of tunes. So if you follow Mango, yeah. which you should already be doing, Mango Dassel on Instagram. That's Let's the get kind me of the vibe. 10K, girls. Let's go. Let's go, girls. <laughs> get me that swipe up so I can swipe up to my SoundCloud. <laughs> I know. I have the blue tick, so I have the swipe up, bro. So don't worry about that, yeah? You have the swipe up without the 10K? Yeah. Yeah, blue what tick, bro. Blue tick. No, yeah, it's mine. No, yeah. For me, it's fuck off. <laughs> yeah. I remember I was listening to, do you know Tony Cantwell, the comedian? He was like, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, got the, Tony, yeah. I got the blue, it was his podcast, like, I got the blue tick. And I'm not even going to go around saying, because all, all these people are like, oh, no, my, my manager and my agent just said, it. no, I wanted it. I I tried for months to get it and I got it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I yeah, feel play, like he was like, and I feel nothing, <laughs> nothing, bro. You like you look at it for like ten minutes. I remember like <laughs> it was it, I was told it was gonna happen, like or it might happen or something like that. Somebody was gonna sort it out. I was like, oh okay, cool. Um, and then like I just because I think I got it before me board, and I, I was I, the only person was to flex to her. It was like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm verified. I was only one her point. I remember just looking at me phone. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I was like, yeah, oh, that's cool. And then I was like, all right, uh, nothing's changed. So, yeah, gives a fuck. It's not like you're going to get a million messages. Congrats on your verification. Like, it's not even, it's just Yeah, like... it doesn't matter. No, <laughs> the only thing you get is like, you get a lot of a different spam being like, this is Instagram and you need to email us now about da 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 da. <laughs> Somebody's trying to get in your bro. It's all just scam stuff, but like, yeah. that's all you get now. Um, right. So, mo- Talk to me. That's only cans, lads. We're now going to move on to extra cans. Um, but Mango, say goodbye to the people, the lads who aren't ponying Peace. up with the cashola. 
You can say goodbye to them. Subs- subscribe to the Patreon, you cheap cunts. You know what I mean? You can afford a can of Guinness. You can afford a can of Guinness. You can give this fella three cans or three euro or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like buying him a can for fuck's sake. Exactly. So see you later. Buy my music. Check my radio show. Peace. And that is going to do it for Only Cans this week, lads. Again, massive thanks to Mango. You can just tell, like, we, we know each other already. There's none of that awkward Zoom. Not that there is with anyone else, but none of that kind of awkward Zoom. Oh, who's gonna... He knows the crack. I know the crack. Good pals. I'm sure, like I said, I'm sure I'll have him on again in the future to wreck his head with something else. Guinness Guru, Guinness Guru related. But yeah, massive thanks to Mango. Go check him out. All of his social. Mango Dassel on Instagram. And head on over to patreon.com slash the Guinness Guru for extra cans with Mango, which will be up this Friday. Thanks for listening, lads. If you're on YouTube, thanks for watching. See you next week. Slaunch, lads.